Hello, it's Patricia Steer, and I'm at my second annual Flat Earth Mixer in Houston, Texas. I have a four-course vegan meal and appetizers happening, and drinks, and uh, I've got a bunch of Flat Earthers here with me today. And uh, it is a great event because people get to meet in person. When you're a Flat Earther, oftentimes your friends and family don't share your viewpoint. And it's really nice to come and meet people who are on the same wavelength. Hi, my name is Rainer, and for our first course, we're Flat Earth Salad. Here we have baby kale, diced apples, toasted pecans, calamari olives, and a pear vinaigrette. I miss him. Pick somebody. Is that DRTRA? Yeah. Is that? Pick somebody to go do a. I haven't seen him in a long time. I became a flat earther in March of 2015 because a suggested video while I was researching the hoax moon landing, which of course I didn't know was a hoax at the time, uh, was uh, Mark Sargent's Flat Earth Clues. And the clues at that time were not put together in one video as some content makers have them now, they were let go individually one by one. And so uh, when I found it, I caught up to his most recent clue and immediately upon watching the very first one was mesmerized. I didn't look at it and laugh right away at all, like many people say. I didn't decide I wanted to debunk it right away, like many people say. I watched and thought, wow, that makes a lot of sense. And I watched just clues, and then of course, other suggested videos came my way, and watched them from all of the top names in Flat Earth, and we all know who they are, and uh, pretty much became a Flat Earther overnight. Uh, it's changed my life tremendously. It's the number one thing in my life, the thing I'm most passionate about. Of course, I love uh, my cats and I love my family and I still love the things I loved before, fashion and books and art and that sort of thing, music. But Flat Earth is something that I can do something about. I can help bring about awareness. And my channel is about uh, uh, interviewing Flat Earth content providers, people who have also gone on that same journey as I have, down the rabbit hole, and come out the other side, and who they are, and how they came to their conclusions, and what they plan on in the future. And of course, I also do a show with Mark Sargent, who, when I first listened to his videos, was a disembodied, friendly voice. But now I consider him a friend, as I do many other Flat Earthers. It's a really exciting time to be alive. It's a really exciting time to grab truth and push it forward. Now that we've finished our salad, we move on to our entree, the Patricia Spaghetti. Here, we have a butternut squash spaghetti with crispy kale, roasted cauliflower, and roasted tomatoes topped off with a pesto sauce. I miss him. I haven't seen him yeah, he around. stopped uh, doing videos for a while. Yes, he did. And that was because he was having issues with his company and whatever, whatever. Uh, you know how it is when you're flat earther. One of the quotes from Douglas Adams was that he thought it was odd that we supposed to be lived at the bottom of a gravity well. Really? I started my channel in August of 2015, but I became a flat earther early March of 2015. Between March and August, what was I doing? watching a lot of videos and mulling it over in my head and at night looking up at the sky and wondering what the moon really was and the stars and wondering who I really was. This one seemed to me something that I could get involved with relatively early and help. That's what I wanted to do. Well, what turned out to happen was, yes, I have helped. I have interviewed lots of different flat earthers, all sorts of people, the ones with the big channels and the ones with the small, tiny channels that have just put out one video. 
I have faced a lot of uh, adversity with a lot of people who are uh, globe earthers who don't want me to make videos at all and flat earthers who say I'm everything from a reptilian to a clone to a transgender uh, and a psychopath and a CIA agent and there's probably a lot more but I can't remember them now but uh, yeah all of those things are like no big deal, I just brush them off because I know who I really am. I'm a woman who has a passion and my passion is Flat Earth Tree. Hi, I'm Chip Baker. I'm here at La Griglia Restaurant in Houston for the Flat Earth Meetup with Patricia Steer from Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes. And my name's David and I've, me and my big dog named Bo came down here from Dallas and uh, to meet Patricia and all the Flat Earthers and we're having a good time here. So. It's uh, been, we had a great vegan dinner. It was, it's been real interesting. It's been, two, I've been watching this for two years. This is my first meetup, meet and chip, and uh, all the, a lot of interesting people. It's been, a, it's been a fun ride so far, so. Um, it's been about two and a half years. Uh, I'm a second generation amateur astronomer, so when I saw the little pop-ups on the websites about the flat earth, I scoffed like most folks, but was intrigued enough to at least look at it. Uh, I've done a number of tests with telescopes, binoculars, and the P900 camera, which have uh, serious doubt in our spherical spinning Earth. Simple as that. I guess the big question is, do you live on a spinning ball? <laughs> I mean, it's just been a fun, it, it, it's a very interesting subject to look at, you know, as a person, just to look at the other side of the coin, I mean, once you look at flat earth, it's undeniable that there is actually no proof that you live on a spinning ball. I mean, it, you could try to find it all you want. You could, a lot of people tell you that you do, but if you actually look into it, there's not 100% proof, and that's why there's a lot of people that believe the earth's flat out here. So, and that's kind of where we're at is we've been watching this, waiting on the big, proof that's going to come through and just prove this to everybody. It's been an uh, uh, argument that's been going on for generations, but I think with the technology and the stuff that we have now, it might just be something that uh, the elite are going to have to uh, admit to that uh, they've lied about. And, uh, I, I'm not convinced there, that, that they're, they're going to do that. I, well, no, I'm not convinced they'll do that, but I do believe that it's, it's a very personal journey. Right. And everybody here has done it because they simply chose to look at it and that they were willing to challenge their preconceptions and they were willing to, you know, look outside the ball, if you will. Well, do you live on a spinning ball? And for example, just a, just a little bit of math here, because that's always very helpful. You know, the Earth spins supposed to be at um, roughly a thousand miles an hour. Some people say 10, 24 at the equator. Right. <clears throat> when you break that down, that's a quarter mile per second in one direction. Now, the, the airport in Austin is a north-south runway. That means that the Earth is traveling to the east at a quarter mile per second. Now, it takes a good few minutes to land a plane, and I haven't seen a plane that flies sideways. Helicopters, maybe. How about no upside aircraft. down? How about upside down? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a whole other thing. Now, I want to draw your attention that I'm, I'm wearing a Palmer Station Antarctic Research cap. Uh, my dad and mom went down and had pictures taken with a penguin, so I can prove conclusively that we're on a ball. Right. Just by this hat. That's the evidence. That's, right that's the evidence. It's convincing that is. But, uh, no, it's been a fun. It's been fun. Just, a, just all the different people and, you know, on the internet. It's, it's better than watching television where you're watching actors because most of the people on the flat earth are real people <coughs> and yeah. so you actually are dealing with people that you know not to say there aren't some characters in there that are a little iffy but just right, the, right, just, right. Just, just the just the fact that there are splatters of normal people in there that you know that are it, take, it takes all kinds to make a flat earth right it's a